And so this is the second half. This is the second half. We're moving on in. And what we're going to talk about today is fake matrix codes. Like how to get what you need in the matrix so that you can get to your sovereignty and get to where you need to go. This is what we're talking about. Something just as dynamic as everything else. you got to walk into this world every single day. You have to know what to do. You have to make it happen. So for me, I realize why this is at the beginning of this word. Because when you go out there into the fake matrix, it's like going to war. That these people have gotten themselves so deep into the conflicts and the judgments, if you don't send out the proper signals, then you don't get the results that you're looking for. I've done my own experiments. Maybe they, those videos will go viral about being dressed one way versus being dressed another and the response that you get from the fake people in the fake matrix. So in every extent, this is a war that I'm engaging in and I'm fighting for my own rights of sovereignty. And it's important to me to get the results that I'm looking for. Now, everyone's got something like this that they throw on generally when they go to the job interview or something like that. But now you have to start seeing this as, as if I tune this the right way and I send into this fake matrix the proper code, then it's going to respond to me the way that I need to respond. And this is how you also learn the difference between the fake matrix and getting the real matrix is if you decide that you're going to take this exact same suit and you're going to take it to the waterfall and then you're going to go sit on some muddy rocks, it's going to have no application there. So notice how fake matrix rules are completely opposite to real matrix rules. So this also means that for somebody that still has that conflict in their mind, man, I'm not dressing like that. I'm not going to do that. Well, it depends on what you're doing. Like if you're an artist and you paint and you draw, you have something that equals you being an artist and in that you have a wardrobe for that. But then when it's time to go down and get the permit that you're looking for to be able to sell the paintings on the sidewalk or in the building or whatever, then maybe you have to throw on instead of the painter's clothes, the clothes that get the yes, sir, right away, sir. Can, is there anything else I can do for you, sir? See, this is the truth, right? Like, so if I want to see things get to this magnificent level, if that's a part of my vision, then I need to know and I need to know. That's it. I need to know exactly how to do that. I don't need to be playing around. So that's the first thing. Don't play around with your serenity. Get what you need and make it happen as rapid as possible and then push away from the table. Like once you get in your serenity stage, you have your water taken care of, your lights taken care of, your family that's still with you, and all those things are taken care of, pull away from the table because there's no reason in getting entwined back into the matrix. So let's talk about a few things here. Now, what we're talking about is we're talking about the fundamentals to success in 2017. Like this new year's rolling around and it's got a lot of energy already attached to it. I can feel it. The people that I've been meeting and the people that I've been talking to, everyone's at that point of making the big jump to the next stage of their life. They're really a bit more and learning about kind of how the world figuring out how to blow wind in your that's used to actually obviously sell something and there's the sails on a boat. And if there's no wind in your sails on the boat, then you don't go very far on the in your vessel on the ocean. So in the fake matrix, then if you don't have current, which is wind, like if you're not riding the current, right, then it becomes very difficult. And everyone's experienced this before. It's very difficult to traverse the sea of the matrix. Right. So one of the bigger things is, is to realize all these different things. And this is why you have to separate the two. Let's say fake. Oh, so we got real M now. Right. OK. So if we're separating the two here, this means that what this tells you is you don't want your tentacles. Let's put the person here. OK. Now, if your tentacles to your heart and all that are all attached into this matrix, right? So your chakra centers then, right? So they're attached into this fake matrix. This is pulling energy from you. So that's actually your wind. Because the moment someone says something that you don't like and you take it too serious and it's all fake matrix games, you get all that energy pulled from you and now you can't get to where you need to go. Have you ever been attempting to do something major and then someone just upsets you and throws off your whole day. We've all been through that. In fact, it seems to happen more often than not these days, right? So how people respond to you can really slow you down. 
it can really put you in a position to where you're like, man, I just, I'm trying to get myself back together here and this idiot is not realizing that I'm trying to, whoa, 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 you've gone too far. You're connecting. See, because the thing is, is that if that person also doesn't know this, and this is why you got to orientate people sometimes. If you really love them and care about them, say, hey, man, let me orientate you real quick about the fake matrix versus the real matrix. Because if that person is not orientated, they automatically go into this column. And this means that to protect yourself, your eyes closed, everyone else does it, to protect yourself, you should not be connecting every single thing you have into a person that you already know is not aware of the difference between a real one and a fake one. Because that's actually how you get agent kind of behavior. You're out trying to accomplish something, do something. It's that main point where things are supposed to happen, and then this person ain't even showed up with your car yet. <laughs> Or you find money missing from your wallet. Weird stuff, right? So this is the big key is to realize, hey, keep this in here. So you can't be like, well, you know what? Namaste. I, I just feel like they need to take me as I am. And if I want to wear my shirt open when I go down here to the courthouse to talk to them about this license because I'm free, then that's, that's, how, I'm, that's how I am. That's how I have to be. See, that's actually where now we're getting things confused because inside in the real you you are naked and you are brazen and you're confident and you're free indeed but when you walk into fake matrix and your process to now live that to live what's going on inside also outside when you're going to take care of the procedures that need to be taken care of in order for you to do that then you just dial the codes. Don't see it as yourself succumbing to their will and you know now they got control over you and they've all the different things that people start going through when they start trying to straighten up for a minute to go get something happen in the matrix. I just, you know, I, it's just, I don't want to do it. And if I feel like I do it, then that means I'm compromising who I am. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you? You're everything. Don't question who you are. You're confident about what you're doing. You see, so this is the stuff that I feel like that you have a lot of youth out here and they didn't have that father figure. See, a, another big part about this is to me, I guess I got to write this somewhere else, but just to remember, we'll put it over here because it's society of truth to define. I think that's that camera. So define the definite. purpose because if you're doing something and you don't even know what you're doing it for then you're not you don't have a definite purpose so it could get really hazy in there you may find yourself not even know why you're doing that anymore it's like you're at a job it was supposed to equal you doing something that you don't even remember anymore or it doesn't seem attainable it's because you didn't keep your mind on the definite purpose so one of my close friends recommended to me that I go back and I listen to uh, Napoleon Hill's work, right? Especially some of the, some of the, the more uh, paramount speeches that he did. This is called the Science uh, Personal Achievement, right? And then when you're listening to him, if you're not judging, what you feel like is like, this is the conversation that you should have had with granddad. It only lasts about five hours. And what he's explaining is, is just real fake matrix rules like if you don't have a definite purpose if you're not programming your behaviors to go right and achieve right so world start video next thing you're on Facebook at the end of the day nothing's gotten done because not having something is not related to you achieving what you need to achieve then you immediately move on to something that is and the moment you start training your mind like that then you don't have that gray area what they call the old folks call the idol's mind that's the devil's workshop you don't have that whole idol mind that's now asking you questions where are we going in life it's on the quest now it's thinking it's the, we call it the monkey mind right so you're not doing that you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing next and exactly where you're at in that whole process now here's what we're going to be doing though next year is we're going to be talking about those stages to that process of your creation and your inventions and what you're doing and how to become successful in that because we can't automatically assume especially since we've been raised basically in a surrogate world the fake matrix is a surrogate mother it's faking it's attempting to be our parents, our mother and our father, and it's not doing a really good job. So there's a lot of things that it's not teaching us like, hey, how do you get your concepts off the ground? Like, how do you know a good idea from a bad idea? How do you form strong relationships and connections and communication? How do you harness the power of the internet to serve your will versus waste your time? So these are the kind of things that we're going to be discussing.
Also, you have to realize that you only have so much processing power when you begin. Meaning that there's a finite amount generally of energy moving through your body. That's why you go to sleep. And until you train yourself to actually begin to push yourself beyond the envelope, go mine over matter, realize where certain things are causing you to leak, which is the main thing, realizing, hey, what kind of connections do I have into this concept of this fake matrix, things that I'm experiencing every single day that I need to cut off, okay? That I need to cut off from my energy centers so that I can put wind into my own sails, right? So how can I cut that off, right, in order for me to get to that level of becoming perpetual and to have an infinite amount of energy to begin to process your ideas based on all the stages that are necessary to, necessary to launch those ideas. Ideas are just thoughts. Now if they're going to come into manifestation, there has to be energy. Anything that comes into manifestation, there's energy. How do you know that? Well, how is the child born? The child, the mother consumes and the child is eating that consumption. So that's energy of how that child is growing. So anything that you're looking to accomplish that's very real to you, your success, your sovereignty is very real. There needs to be some energy put into that. In fact, you have to begin to realize that this is not a genie in a bottle. If you're looking to accomplish something big, you're going to have to sacrifice the time. You're going to have to sacrifice the energy that's going to take to get that manifestation happening. And what I'm going to do is allow you to realize, hey, this is where there's an energetic leak. I remember one gentleman we had, the guy was, a, was, iron, was an Iron Man, and he, was a, you know, he ran professionally. And he, when, when my wife went to jaw with him, he said, hey, don't move your hands. You, you know, you're burning energy. And I just, you know, I catch on to stuff like that. It's like, but yeah, exactly, because all those little bits of energy, when you're going to achieve the greatest things, you're going to need that energy. At the last moment, when you feel like you can't go on, if you had been moving your hands a lot, it would have been that energy that would have kept you going. So realize that, you know, you can really be conservative with your ship. Even in my, my new experiences, because I'm still making my journeys, I always make my journeys, I learned when I compress the air, when I'm on these experiences, it drives the energy much higher. It's all a part of that compression, which is the, uh, the, the, um, it's the foundation to how the matrix is really, the real matrix is driving energy. Things under pressure, that's the difference between seeds versus the, the stalk and the one that's already grown. So these seeds are under pressure. And it's interesting how we see life in this direction that we should basically become trees and, and you know, and, 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 and keep going, I guess, you know. But the truth is, is that the ancestors saw in everything that you were supposed to go back into this egg, that you actually weren't supposed to continue out this way, that all of this world was this way, and that you could learn everything about worlds by simply realizing these principles. And then you can make yourself back into the nucleus of the atom and then go into the all-knowing stage. So laser-like focus and definite purpose is the key now. Remember, you're not playing around in time. The moment that they start running clocks was the moment that you should have realized that this was serious. So what happens from here is that you're not looking, okay, well, that's two years from now for me. I can see how I can get involved in something like that. No, this is like, okay, my, I don't have time. This is something I need to be working on now.